Hi everyone, my name is Azucena Gonzalez. I'm a realtor with Mohican Associates. I coined myself the hashtag Zumba Realtor, hashtag the Fit Realtor, just because I do do a lot of fitness things. It's something that's super important to my life, especially now that we're expecting, and um, it allows me to eat <laughs> a lot. Anyways, so that being said, there are three different exercises that I want to show you that you can level up meaning that you can increase the intensity to. We're gonna be doing squats, jumping jacks, and plank, and I'll show you different varieties that you can do to go ahead and elevate it to the next stage. So basically, when you have your squats, you bend at the knees, you bring it up, you line your knees with your second and third toes, and then you bring it up, right? You wanna make sure that you stick your butt out and bring it up, okay? We don't want nothing moving forward. That's not the motion that we're going for. Everything seated back. If it helps, make sure that you put like a little bench behind you. That way you know where to put your booty. Okay? Go ahead. Casey, go here. Anyways, so one of the ways that you can level up a squat is by doing a jump squat. Okay? And you're like, oh, okay. So basically, you just come down to a squat and then you use your, you use your arms to power up as such. And you focus on having a very soft landing to reduce the impact on your joints and that way you don't hurt yourself. So again, you come down and you jump up, softly land, and you keep going, okay? You do as many as you like. You can do 10 in a row and move on to the next thing, especially if you're doing like a little hip thing. Now, the next thing you can do is use bands. You've seen these a lot. Victor actually got these for me because I was like, yeah, I want some. So I'm using the medium one. You use the one you want or the one you have at home or the one someone that you borrow or the one they have at the gym. You just put it right above your knees. And one thing I like about having tile is the fact that I can use the tile for my workout. And I'll show you two different ones that you can do with the bands on your legs, okay? So basically, you're in a squat, and I should lower the camera a bit, or I can back up a little. So here I have my square, right? Scoot this forward. So essentially, I well, I'm gonna step right on the lines of the square because it's only 12 inches, okay? So if I'm here, bring it out, bring it in. I'm staying very low, staying very conscious of the fact that I'm not putting my knees over my toes, okay? And you just keep it here. So you're always under flexing. <laughs> it's actually not that bad, try it. Or you can go wider if you'd like, it's up to you. Now, here's another variation that I saw one of my very dear friends do, her name's Crystal. And basically what she did was she did a crisscross, squat, crisscross, squat. Looks like this. You're in a squat, crisscross, squat, crisscross, squat. Okay? Thirdly, feels funny doing that, like I'm taking something off. Because I am. You can use dumbbells. These are 10 pounds, so not too heavy at all, actually. So basically, you can put them on your shoulders, you can hold them on your arms, you can do a combination of things. This is just to add some more weight. You can squat your dog, it's up to you. And we bring it down, bring it up. Bring it down, bring it up. If you notice that, you know, that's great and all, but it's not doing a lot for me, you can do what Darren has us do. And that's basically, we do three short, or three low, and then one high. So that looks one, two, three, one, full squat. Yeah, so we do one, two, three, stand up, a single, up. Here we go, one, two, three, single. And so it almost feels like you're doing two singles, but basically you're getting the full range of motion back when you're doing that single one, okay? Another thing you can do as well, if you'd like, is you can add some arm variations, um, but I'll leave that to another video, okay, because that's, a, you know, we're combining different exercises together. But that's again, just so you can get the most out of your squats. Now, we have jumping jacks. I like jumping jacks. I used to think like, oh, whatever, they're so easy, and they are, but you can elevate them. Now I'm going to put this over before I knock my hat off. Shout out to my Thea for this lovely hat. I love it. It says blessed. It's kind of a joke. 
um, <laughs> because of something I said. I was like, I'm so blessed, and they were just making fun of me. Anyways, so you have your jumping jack. Looks like this, very basic. But you got options. We're all about options and leveling up. You got your 10 pound weight. This is a pretty basic weight to start off from. However, if you're not sure, definitely start off with something lighter, okay? And then just kind of build up, all right? I haven't tried it with anything higher than a 10, but whenever we do these, we do like three sets of eight or four sets of eight, okay? So we end up doing about 24 to 32. So yes, yeah, so if you're gonna be doing the weighted jumping jacks, you can do quite a few, so go for it, okay? So basically, you do the same thing, but you're raising the dumbbell with your arms on the top. Okay, so that's one way to level up your jumping jack. The other way, and I think this is called a star jack, which at first I was like, yeah, whatever. This one, thank you, Monica, for showing me this in your hit class. Oh my goodness gracious, they're intense. At least for me, they are. Let me know how you feel about them, but I swear, I'm like, ooh, let's do one more. And then I have to do like a practice one. How do we... I'm trying to think because it's not this, it's, hey babe, you know how to do a star jack? A star jack? A star jack? <sighs> okay, okay, so I think it's like, <laughs> that's a star jack. You basically do this, right? So you got options if you want when, you, when you're doing jumping jacks, you can do this, you know, so we can level up this way too, right? You can do this, or you can do this. <laughs> I'm telling you, you need to try that. That's how it goes like, it's intense. My heart is beating, like I'm telling you, it's intense. Try it. Try to do 10, and let me know how you feel. You're going to be like, oh, it's so easy. And if it is for you, awesome. And if it isn't, we're on the same boat. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do some plank variations. So I'll first show you what plank looks like. This is great because it really works your whole body. I have a lovely mat here. If you need one, not really. It's up to you. I like it for the comfort of my hands. So basically, this is not it. <laughs> but from here, you put your hands on the floor. Okay, your hands under your shoulders. Ground yourself. Basically, you kind of get into push-up position. You hold everything together. And I was about to do a push-up. Woo! This is plank. But you're like, what about the level up part? Well, let's get to it. You can do side. Move your legs side to side. So one on each side would be one. So, so far, I've done three. If you want something different, you can do this. Still having that line straight through your body, but this is a little easier if you need to build up to it. It's all good. We are all on different levels on this journey and there's nothing wrong with that. You also can do the following, which let me move this this way so you can see what I'm doing. You're like this, right? Still holding your body up tight. You can tap it out. Another thing that you can do as well is you can do a high low. It sounds like what you think it is if we're both picturing the same thing. So let me show you. Okay. So here we are. You put your gear on your forearm, on your forearm, up and up. Keeping the body tight, that's it. So those are your, your three exercises that you can go ahead and level up today. Let me know which one was your favorite. Personally, I like the Star Jacks. Those kick my booty, but I like it. So yeah, like I said, let me know what you think. And I look forward to seeing you on our next Fit Friday. See ya.